Okay, folks, we've just come in here to my messy office. Um, these are the plants that I dug up earlier this morning. It's just a bit easier to get the message across about the importance of looking after nutrition um, with crops this year, well, well, and every year, but particularly this year because of the different growth stages and the different stages of development that the roots are at. Now, surprisingly, the roots on all of these three are relatively good considering the weather they've gone through. These first two plants, it's Graham sown and lay ground that I told you about down the road on the 14th of October. Good sturdy plants are above ground at this stage, three to five tillers per plant. Nice degree of length in the primary root, got lateral root and quite developed as well. This here is what we stood in in my field. It's the Graham sown on the 4th of November after beet in definitely less than ideal conditions. Now there's still pretty good development and to be fair, if you'd seen the conditions this was sown in, that root development is quite good. The primary roots aren't actually quite as long. It, it's a little bit hard perhaps to pick it up on the camera because you have to look at very fine detail here to see it and they've started to dry out even in the last hour in the office. But you've got pretty good lateral rooting. But this ground, while the index would have been lower, has an awful lot of residual um, fertility from the farmyard manure and the slurry that was applied to the beet and of course the beet tops that were plowed down, plowed down, beg your pardon. Um, this is sown in lay ground, which everybody associates with being, you know, a great start. But it can be tricky lay ground because you can get a lock up initially as the sod breaks down. But over here on the right hand side, again, it's my wheat. We didn't go into the field, sown on the 4th of January. One tiller showing on one plant. The roots aren't too bad, all things considered. But when you factor in that we're expecting, in most terms, this crop across three day sow dates here, that it all was potentially going to give us up to six ton of wheat. I'm not saying I ever got it personally, but I've come close to it. You can see looking at this very quickly that asking that to perform like this is a big ask. And even here, the roots just aren't as developed. But this is why going in now to treat the plant, whatever about whatever we do later as regards lodging control, weed control, disease control, it's making this plant able to perform to the best of its abilities. It's where our return comes from. So what we do now pays dividends. So applying the likes of that insight now, again, it's the pedolic acid and the phosphite following with uplift and keeping the nutrition right during the season, that little and often approach, the likes of your cereal ally are the Altex Liquiplex MNZNB, which has the amino acids in it, which help reduce stress. We're going to, as best we can, ask that to perform as close as it can to this. Now, it won't be as good, obviously. It just can't. If this turns around and does five and a half ton of wheat this year, will that do four is what I'd ask today. But if we mine the plant, if we get the roots to develop as best we can, wheat, as we know, is about um, how long the grain fills for, as opposed to barley, which is all about heads. I won't get the same level of tillers out of that, but have a relatively good plant stand in the field. And if those roots allow that plant to take maximum nutrition out of the, out of the ground, and what I do to the plant above ground, in terms of reducing stress through the likes of uplift with its pedolic acid, the Altec products with their amino acids and the overall nutrition that will enable us as best we can to get this to perform to the best of its ability. But everything that happens above this line, while yes, photosynthesis plays a role, it's what happens from there down allows it to happen because the roots are the source of the moisture, they're the source of the nutrition. So we have to look after the roots.